This episode of Midco Sports Magazine is presented by Shields. Hello and welcome to Midco Sports Magazine. Our theme this month is determination. We've got three stories on three outstanding individuals who've got some big goals in mind and they are getting it done. We will meet a young woman from North Dakota who was in the best physical shape of her life and then had a stroke. She is learning to talk again and learning to walk again with the help of your friendly local professional baseball team. We'll go to Brookings, South Dakota, and a wrestling coach at South Dakota State who will inspire you to get up and get out there and get it done as he trains for a shot at the Olympic Games. But we start in Vermilion and an athlete at the University of South Dakota. She is great at her sport, outstanding in her studies, and she's got a little something else to deal with every day. Here's Jay Elson. In a sport like high jump, the line between success and failure is razor thin. High jumping is the ultimate game of inches. You just go up maybe a half inch or a quarter inch every week and you're just trying to get a little bit better. It's either really good or really bad. <laughs> um, I know right away if I had a good jump. For Megan Gleiser, there have been many more good jumps than bad. She is the best the University of South Dakota has ever seen. Most people can't go week in and week out and go jumping over six foot. It's very rare that someone can do that. And that's what got her ranked in the top 10 in the U.S. last year is that consistency that she had of jumping high every single week, making over six foot at least six different times last year. And she's made it um, a couple times already this year. You'll find a couple of Gleiser's triumphs documented in the USD record books. In 2014, she set the Coyotes indoor standard with a jump of six feet, three quarters inch at the USA Track and Field Indoor Championships. Gleiser cleared that same height outdoors at the Texas Relays this spring, again a school record. She's a two-time All-American and currently ranks sixth in the nation. I don't know if it's hit me yet how successful I have been since I have gotten here. Right out of high school, you know, I kind of went backwards and wasn't jumping very good and it just, it took a few years to really figure out what high jump was and what I needed to do. And since I got on this training program, you know, they know, they have guided me in the right direction and what a high jump approach should look like, what training should be in the off season, what to do to peak for certain meets. And so I think that has really helped with my success. While she's already reached heights most athletes never will, Gleiser maintains the heart of a true competitor. She's never satisfied. Raising the bar remains the only option. We're still setting goals, so even though I might be jumping good to some people right now, we still have marks that we want to get, and we still have world standards that we have not met. So that's our goal right now. Gleiser's goals aren't limited to athletics. In fact, she admits that high jump wasn't what brought her to USD. After stops at the University of Iowa and Morningside, where she won an NAIA National Championship in 2012, Megan's main focus was on the other half of the student-athlete equation. I wanted to transfer for the major that I have, and this was the closest place to home that had it. So I reached out to Lucky and introduced myself and said, you know, I'm possibly looking at this major. Um, I'm on the track team at Morningside. You know, what do you think of this, and would this be an option? And so we met and discussed it and met with the department. Um, of communication sciences and disorders and I loved it <laughs> and so we kind of just worked out a way to make it possible for me to get that major that I wanted to study and be on the track team at the same time. Once she arrived on campus Gleiser got right to work. Improvement has been steady in athletics but she's been a standout in the classroom from the start. Megan has twice landed on the Summit League honor roll as a distinguished scholar and currently owns a 3.67 GPA. I have made sure that I'm very organized. I have two very detailed planners that um, document what I'm doing every day and when and what I need to get done. And I think that was hard my first semester here, but then once I got it rolling, that's my key to success. That diligence was recently rewarded. Lizer reached one of her long-standing academic goals earning one of five spots in USD's Doctorate of Audiology program. I will learn, be learning about hearing and balance disorders. My dream job would be to have my own um, pediatric audiology clinic and work with kids. But there is one more piece to this story. Good job. 
High five. Something that further separates Megan Gleiser from the typical student athlete. <laughs> you know, he's probably my number one fan. However, he's still a little young to um, understand track meets completely. Um, he gets excited when I get first place. <laughs> but if I, you know, jump well and might end up second, you know, he doesn't quite understand that. But he always likes to see what I bring home, whether it's a medal or um, bringing home a watch from Texas Relays. He thought that was pretty cool. Four-year-old Brody brings the kind of joy no trophy could ever equal. And while being a young parent hasn't come without sacrifices, Gleiser says the extra responsibility adds infinite value to her sometimes hectic life. I think I have a huge advantage over the other student athletes just because I have my family to look forward to when I come home at the end of the day. It just makes it fun and when I'm away at meets, sometimes it's hard being gone for, you know, four or five days at a time. But I have them that are completely supporting me at home and it makes what I'm doing more worthwhile. That's what I really admire about her is how she's been able to balance those things. And, and we've known that since she came here. There was a commitment from day one that we knew track was going to be important, but it's not the most important thing in her life. She's truly one of the most amazing people I've ever had the opportunity to work with. All right, it's Jay Olson, and uh, she's, she's such a great story. Nice job by you, Thank by you. the way. And she's done with her undergrad uh, as of the spring, right? Yeah, and then she goes into that doctorate of audiology program, which uh, is a pretty prestigious thing at USD. She's very excited about that. All right, is she good enough? Does she have any aspirations to jump higher, go further than she is already? Good enough? Yeah, I don't think there's much of a question as far as talent. Uh, is there interest? Yeah, there's at least some interest there. In fact, she said that she's already spoken to her professors about whether or not they see it being feasible for her to continue to train and try and compete beyond college while balancing uh, this heavy workload that she's about to experience, obviously, with her graduate studies. But the other interesting part of the story is the fact that she says there's not actually a lot of American high jumpers right now. So she ranks six in the country, but a couple of the girls in front of her are actually from other countries. So technically, in terms of the United States, she ranks even higher. All right. Thanks a lot. Jay Elson. Up next on Midco Sports Magazine, how the Minnesota Twins have helped a young woman from North Dakota regain her voice after suffering a stroke. Well, thanks to Coach Reeder, thanks to Coach Bono, thanks to Megan and Jenna for sharing their stories this month. We'll see you next time on Midco Sports Magazine. This has been Midco Sports Magazine, presented by Shields. Midco Sports Magazine on Midco Sports Network is presented by Shields.